channel and welcome to my first voiceover. Today I am trying to stock up on my monarch butterflies. I was actually going to stock my butterflies and something else with these squares but I, keep, I kept selling the butterflies while I was making these. So after all these squares, I only have two butterflies left, but that having two in stock is better than having none. So I'll take it. This is also my most used linen. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's natural bleach linen or natural linen, but I will link the two shops that I usually order linen from down below and you'll be able to find it. I also forgot to mute the YouTube video that I'm watching so there's that as well. I'll link her channel below too. So for most of my designs, I just freehand it and embroider what the design is on the fabric. But for the butterflies, I I drew a butterfly, but I don't think this is the one that I drew. I think this might just be a stock image. And then I put it on Canva and just print a whole bunch of them on a sheet of paper. That way I always have some. And then I use this carbon transfer paper which makes it super easy to get the, des the design on the fabric as you will see and I've shown this before but just in case you're new or haven't seen this this is what I do and it makes it super easy and it turns out really good I also don't trace it exactly how it is I make my own lines in certain spots um, if you can tell probably not but and you can do that too you don't have to if a design is close to what you're wanting you can always deviate from the design while you're tracing it or when you're embroidering as well And I'll usually prep or at least make two of a design if I'm out of stock and one sells and I have to remake it anyway. I usually make at least two or three. It depends on the design. But for the butterflies, I usually make at least four if I don't have any in stock and someone orders one. Just because they're my most popular design. And also these little squares, I can only use them for probably one butterfly square for maybe three of the to transfer because this pen first off is super inky but I just want to make sure the lines are crisp and stuff so they only last so long and these are the colors that I use uh, it's, I don't have the white one but it's like an ivory it's right there 712 I go between that one and an 
800 one. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. And I always start with the color first of the butterfly and then do the black outline last. Well, not last, but after. Because then if you need to kind of manipulate the color or where it is, you can do that more easily. I'm sorry about my voice. This is the first time I'm talking this morning and it's just not. See like right here, this orange part that I'm working on, it's thicker than what I normally would do. But since I know that I can cover that bottom part with black, I'm not gonna worry about it and it'll end up looking good. And I start with one color, so this top orange, I'll do that with all of the butterflies and then I'll go back and do the bottom orange all together and then the black and so on. So while this is time lapsing, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I missed last week's video. We had such a, a busy week and I thought I'd be able to upload a video but I wasn't obviously. But my husband was on vacation and we just had a fun-filled week while he was off, so it was nice though. And now I'm going to start the bottom orange ones, which is a slightly lighter color than the top. And for some reason, the bottom half of the butterfly is always a little bit trickier than the top, at least for me. I'm not sure why, but it is. It's a little bit easier though to fix with the black, but just the placement's always a little off while I'm, before I fix it. And if you can hear the birds in this video, it's because I'm, uh, doing this outside not the embroidering but the voiceover because it's still actually it's not that early it's eight o'clock but everyone's still sleeping and i just feel more comfortable outside doing this because it's i don't know i feel more comfortable doing a voiceover outside but we have a ton of birds where i live so that's it Also, you guys should let me know if you like the voiceover better than because usually I just write little captions on the screen so I'm good doing either one but let me know which one you like better and I'll start doing that one more often. So it was around this time when I started to get orders for these butterflies. So you'll start to see my pile just kind of dwindle a little bit. 
And I usually, I've never sold like butterflies or anything like back to back to back to back like that. So it was, it was neat. I'm glad I at least started them though. That bird though, I was re-listening to the voiceover and sorry about that. <laughs> So if you have an Etsy shop or a shop at all, do you, because I'm just curious, because my orders, I don't have like consistent orders, but what I do consistently have are like cluster orders. So I might go even like a week without any orders, but then like the next day I'll get like five or so. And then, so like it's never just one order that comes through. It's always at least like two or three together. So I'm curious if yours is like that, if you have a shop, let me know. And for this black part, the outline, I always outline the design first and then kind of go in between the colors, but there's no like, rhyme or reason for my stitches I'm just filling it in almost haphazardly but it ends up looking nice just so none of the because if they all go one direction you can kind of see where your fabric dips if that makes sense it probably it might but it just looks nicer to me when it, the stitches are going kind of chaotic when you're doing it but it ends up it does end up looking nice and not where your fabric dips but where your thread like it'll make like a little hump kind of if you embroider you might know what I'm talking about but it just I'm not into the look of it so I just do it this way and it's easier just to be able to mindlessly kind of fill in the color So I just noticed it, but this is, see, I only have the two butterflies left. And so at least you don't have to watch through that much repetition anymore. Sorry about that if you're not into it. And then I just add these little, they're French knots onto the wings and then the butterflies are done. I'll probably shorten this part of the video for this butterfly just because you just saw me make it and it's pretty much the exact same thing over and over so and now people are starting to wake up so this is gonna get a little I don't know how much more I'm gonna voice over how much longer the kids will let me so we'll see what happens also but thank you guys for watching and being here and I hope that you like this kind of video. It is kind of nice just to talk instead of trying to type it all and fit it into because you only get so much room without the words getting super tiny. Now you say hi. You say hi? Hi. <laughs> I've been found. <laughs> so now I'm packing orders from the last, I think it might be two weeks, maybe a week. I'm not sure, but I'm doing it. I'm, I edited it a little differently just because First, it makes the video a little bit shorter because this was almost a 40 minute video. 
I think it's kind of fun just to see everything like this. I, just, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Not that anyone asked, but this squishing part where you like, you'll see, like squish that. That's my favorite part of this, the wax seals, just in case you wanted to know. This way it's a little bit easier to tell you what it is. That was a custom cursive L. Uh, that's a flamingo and a strawberry and blueberry. Those three were customs and those were probably like some of my favorite customs that I did. That flamingo turned out so cute. Oh, and that mermaid tail. My daughter already asked for a pink one. So I might add those to my shop actually because I know um, mermaids are popular and they're, they turn out really cute. And as you saw, I got a couple scrunchie orders, which was kind of exciting because I didn't know if people would want them or not, or like them, because they are thinner and they're not as thick as what seems to be popular, but I personally like the thinner ones. So I'm still figuring out the packaging, figuring out the packaging on those, but... And just in case you haven't seen any of my videos before, I made not that bear sticker, but the rest of these stickers, those ones and all. And I can't remember if I made a video or not, but if I did, I'll link it below. And if I didn't, I will make one to show you guys how I did it. They're super easy to make and they're actually kind of fun. I think they're fun. Just uh, you can make anything to, into a sticker. My kids really like it too. So. And I just realized it kind of looks like I'm having a really hard time with the same box for all of these little clips, but they, I promise they are, they're all different boxes. It just looks like the same one. And in one of the clips I showed me squeezing out like with a hot glue gun, it's from Artist Sire. I don't know what it's called, the name of it, but something like that. Um, I'll link their Instagram below, but they have a whole bunch of super cute wax, waxes and seals and all that stuff. I'll link it below. And now for a couple packages, I was so excited to get these. These are my, they're called like matte, and sorry the clip is upside down. I could have fixed it, but I don't want to because I already had it into the iMovie so but they're matte satin and matte silk fabric and the camera doesn't do the colors justice they're super pretty and I'll make a scrunchy tutorial or something showing them better and this was the my part of the shop trade 
I think it was the last video or the video before I talked about a shop trade that I did and I sent out clips and I picked these things because I, my one of my best friends is having a baby and I thought the teethers were so cute and this waffle gauze blanket I love it it's so cute I'll also have her shop linked below but that's the end of my video and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you liked this voiceover video let me know what you think below have a great day bye